Hi guys, my name is Kelly. I'm a traditionally and independently published author of more than 30 books. Welcome to my channel and today we're going to talk about things that I love in books. Part of the awesome thing about being a writer and part of the reason a lot of people want to be writers is because they love reading books of course and there are certain things that I love to read in books and that I love to write in books so we're going to talk about five of those things today these are things that I love to read in books and things that I love to write when I'm writing in my books Number one, I love the slow burn romance. Now, I know some people like the quick meet cute and like a quick romance. I'm more of a slow burn. If if there's a book series, I would like it to be, you know, like, like a slow build. Kind of like, you know, Mulder and Scully on the X-Files. You know, kind of a slow, slow build that you don't think is ever going to actually happen but happens that they they become friends first or this thing happens first but there's still tension between them the whole time but it 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 you know that they feel for each other but maybe they don't acknowledge it or they're afraid to acknowledge it or they're afraid the other person doesn't really feel the same way so i love slow burn romances my chest is red and i don't know why number two i also love books with mysteries and whodunits now it doesn't have to be a thriller book but i like some kind of question who did this what did this what sort of ghost is in the house what is wrong with this person doing these things i love books that have some kind of question or something that you have to kind of figure out um uh, for the plot to happen or for the story to happen and i and whodunits are kind of just my my favorite thing too i i love those but mostly a mystery that happens throughout that you're trying to figure out as you read and you just want to keep turning pages till you get to the answer which leads me to this thing that i love in books and i will probably be the only person in the world that says this but I love when chapters end on cliffhangers. I know most people don't like cliffhangers. I don't know how people feel about cliffhangers on chapters. <laughs> but I love reading. And when you get to the end of the chapter. And you're like, okay, if you're like me, I try to read like a chapter at a time. And so I, I really won't stop until I get to the end of the chapter. But some books are just so awesome <laughs> and have that that cliffhanger at the end of the chapter that I just have to keep on going and keep on going. And I love that in books. Another thing that I absolutely love that makes me super happy is a twist ending that I didn't see coming. Now, if it's a twist ending, then I figure out like two pages before the main character. I like those too. I don't mind. I don't like stories or the, my favorite kind of stories is are not the kind where like it's obvious from the beginning who the bad guy is or what the mystery is or whatever i like the 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 twisted endings that when you go back and reread it you're like oh i can't believe i missed that that where you put like the throwaway lines in that's my favorite thing to write is if you put a lot, if you put like a throwaway line in a book that kind of makes sense, but not really in in the context, and then when you get to the end and you're like, I didn't see that coming, and then you reread it, and then that one throwaway line just pops out, and you're like, Oh, they told me the answer. They told me exactly who or what was the the thing the mystery the twist and i didn't see it i love that i love writing it and i love it when i read and the last thing well not the last thing but the last thing i'm going to talk about today that i love in books is a book that makes me feel and not just sadness and not just romance and not just you know i don't know what else scared but i love a book that i get so invested and so worried and so 
and care for characters so much that um, they make me feel, they make me feel like real people. And I love that in books. I'm not much of a person that will go after, you know, like the sad movies that you know is going to be sad or a sad book that you know is going to be sad and you know it's going to break your heart. I have kind of a hard time reading those because <laughs> I don't know why. I guess, I guess I don't like intentionally trying to be, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like those. If you like those, I'm glad you do. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Okay, maybe I'm more emotional than I thought I was. But I do love books that make me feel so much for the characters that I care what happens to them. And I just get so wound up in the story that it doesn't feel like a story. So that's it. Those are the things that I love to write about in books and things that I definitely love to read about in books. Tell me in the comments what you love to read about in books. If you're a writer, what you love to write about in books. If you love talking about books, if you love talking about writing, then this is the channel for you. I post videos two to three times a week. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know definitely when I make new videos. Hit the like button if this video is something that you like. I really hope it is. I truly hope it is. And like like I said in the comments, tell me what you love to read in books and what you love to write in books if you're a writer. All right, guys, that's it. I will see you in the next video, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.